Hello friends, today I'm going to introduce you to Resilient CAD Modeling or RCM. RCM is essentially one of the cleanest ways to CAD model. It's a systematic approach, we follow a methodology that will make or will try to make your feature tree indestructible and easy to share with other teammates. It does take a little bit longer to create, but once you create it, the benefits are numerous. The premise of RCM is essentially putting all of your design intent, which means your dimensions, into your skeleton group, which is simply sketches. So you're going to have a set of sketches and datum planes at the very top of your feature tree, which are going to contain all of your dimensions. Prime example, let's open up one of the skeleton groups, sketches. Here we have a bunch of dimensions. But then when we start the core group, which is the next group, it's a systematic approach, guys. Once you start the core group, you're simply going to convert the entities from the skeleton sketch. For instance, I'm going to prime example here. And this sketch doesn't have any dimensions. What that means is that all you need to edit when you edit this model is going to be the six sketches at the very top, which makes things very simple. I'm going to show you what the actual body of this looks like once I create all the bodies. And I like to color code my sketches. It's personally my style. See the green is going to be this bracket that we're looking at. Let me highlight the bracket for you. The bracket is the green sketches. Then the red is going to be the handle. So that allows me to be a little bit more organized. But, but before we dive into that, how about we look at this item? What is this item that we're actually looking at right now? If you don't care about that, you can just skip the next minute. But so you may have asked yourself, what is that big white logo in our CAD model? This is our company logo, Pipeline Design and Engineering, as you guys know, and we make medical device test fixtures. Um, so here's our logo made of Legos. One of our very talented engineers made this logo as a gift, and it has a stand. The Lego stand is inserted insi inside the Lego logo, and that's how it holds it. So we wanted to mount the Lego logo on the wall so when we have visitors to our headquarter facilities, we can show off our logo. Therefore, I came up with the idea that we put the Lego logo on top and this is the stand that goes underneath. So imagine the big Lego logo over the top and the bracket would have a handle that you slide in and out. And when the handle is slid in, it would prevent the Lego logo from tipping over because the bottom would come in contact with the handle and it would prevent it from tipping over and falling. It's super sturdy, not moving. And there we have it. You can pull out the handle and take it out if you want to. I want to help you with visualization. I think it's pretty important when it comes to RCM so you're able to successfully create your master sketches, which is the core, the meat and potatoes of RCM. So when creating the master sketches, let's focus on, let's say the bracket. So I'm gonna hide the other bodies. And once I have the bracket, I want you to visualize it. See, I did two sketches. One sketch on the front plane, one sketch on the side plane. And then I made them coincident at the center and also at the top. You may make coincident or Peter's them can you see it now three-dimensionally that's what the bracket will look like so the more you practice RCM the better you will get at this skill I want to show you how I made the bracket okay so I need I could just hide these bodies just to show the bracket I'm gonna sh hide the sketches for the bodies that I don't need and since I color coded it is very simple I'm just looking at the colors pretty much and I just want to show the bracket file the bracket body and in the bracket we follow this procedure the core group then we got uh, a mirror and then we got some cuts so I think the cuts should be before the mirror if I'm not mistaken so let's see detail group is usually cuts and the modify group is the mirror so I need to come in here and There we go, control Q, okay. So it may seem like something very minor, but we want to follow protocol as much as we can because it's easier to edit the feature tree afterwards. So now let's go over a scenario. Uh, my name is Rafael Testai, as you can see from here, and let's say I have a teammate called Steve. 
Now I'm going on vacation and Steve has to open up my file to edit the bracket height. Now instead of coming in here and trying to figure out which part to edit, like of course what you would do is you would click on this and it'll tell you what feature. And a lot of times it works just fine if you go into the feature and you edit it. But a lot of times, as you know, it'll break. And RCM is designed so things don't break. So what Steve would do is get to the point that I'm here right now, probably click on that line, it'll tell him what sketch it belongs to. So all he has to do is sketch, edit the sketch up here, the skeleton sketch, and edit the height. And there we go, edit it. So nothing blew up, it was quick and easy. So this is what a company should want to strive to get to. If everyone uses RCM, it's going to be so much easier for teammates to edit each other's files and ultimately try to make the CAD models indestructible. Now I know that wasn't enough and you want more. And I will willingly teach you how to do everything in that RCM model. But first, do you think that you can help us get to 300 subscribers, please? If we get to 300 subscribers, I promise that I'll go back to this CAD model, I'll make another video, and I'll show you guys step by step as to how I build this RCM model so we can all learn together. Please get, help us get to 300 subscribers. Like, comment, share.